When you hear the Champions League, you probably think of this. And everything else that that entails. This song is the UEFA Champions League theme song, and that tournament pits Europe's best soccer slash football clubs against one another. And it is one of the largest international sporting events that happens annually. Well, as of 2014, the European hockey community wanted their own tournament themselves. And so, the Champions Hockey League was born. I mean, it did have a short stint in 2008, but we won't get into that. So getting back into the new Champions Hockey League, first we ask the question, who exactly plays in this? And the simple answer is that it selects the top teams in the top leagues that compete in Europe, not counting the KHL. To be more specific, the Champions Hockey League picks 5 teams from the SHL in Sweden, 5 teams from Liga in Finland, 4 teams from the NLA in Switzerland, 4 teams from the ELH in the Czech Republic, 3 teams from Germany's DEL, 3 teams from the EBEL in Austria, 1 team from the Tipsworth League in Slovakia, 1 team from Norway's GET Legion, 1 team from the Belarusian Extra League, 1 team from the Metal League in Denmark, 1 team in the United Kingdom's EIHL, 1 team from France's League Magnus, 1 team from the Polska Hockey League in Poland, and finally, one last team that qualifies if they win the double IHF Continental Cup, which is seen as Europe's second tier competition, similar to the Europa League and FIFA. So, since the Nottingham Panthers of the EIHL won the Continental Cup, the EIHL will have two representatives in the 2017 Champions Hockey League. Adding up all of these teams, we get 32 total teams that participate in the tournament, as of now. And one last note for which teams participate in this. The previous champion always participates in the tournament, and in this case, it'd be Frolunda HC from the SHL. But since the maximum number of spots allowed in the tournament per league is 5, the SHL puts in its top 4 teams, plus Frolunda. And if Frolunda is in the top 4, then they'd pick their top 5 teams. Now once the teams are set, 8 groups of 4 are formed, where they then do a round robin format within their group, with the best 2 teams in that group advancing to the knockout stage. In the knockout stage, teams play against each other both home and away, and a winner is decided based on the aggregate score. It's only the final of the Champions Hockey League that is decided by a single game elimination. And after all of this is done, the winner gets some prize money as well as the European trophy, showing that they are the best team in Europe. Outside of the KHL, that is. And speaking of winners, out of the three previous finals, Frolunda has participated in all of them, winning the previous two, while another Swedish team, Lulea HF, won in the CHL's re-inaugural season. So that is the hockey world's take on the UEFA Champions League. I hope that you found this video interesting, and I'll see you in the next one.